Yo, it's Chicken Bacon, Connor here, and today we're taking a look at the 1.8.4 update for the Vanilla Daisy mod. So in this update, they fixed a bunch of bugs from the last patch. Like for instance, uh, the church bells were way too loud, and there was an issue with not being able to blood bag sometimes. But in this patch, they've actually implemented quite a few new features into the game, which are really good. Uh, the first thing they've implemented is the Mosin Nagant. Uh, a lot of you might be familiar with this gun from Daisy Standalone. It has five rounds per clip and an iron sight that's not exactly preferable. However, in the new update, they've also added an attachment system to the mod, which allows you to add various parts to weapons. Uh, so far, I found suppressors for both the M9 and Makarov, as well as a red dot sight and suppressor for the M4A1. I also luckily managed to find a scope for the Mosin Nagant. And now what's cool about this scope, and something that I'd love to see in Daisy Standalone, is it's sort of a dual rendered scope. Uh, it shows both the zoomed in portion as well as some peripheral vision around the edge of the scope. Uh, this is a really cool feature that's in games like Red Orchestra 2, and uh, it it's definitely makes it look really good. However, the Mosin is definitely still one of the weaker guns in the game. Uh, because it does zero up to 800 meters, it also has insanely large amounts of recoil. And I'll go ahead and show that in this clip here. Oh, I'm not gonna peek. Oh, suppress? Yeah. What was that, high, low? Do you know? So yeah, you're definitely better off with a more rare sniper in the game, like the CZ550 or M24. Uh, because with the Mosin Nagant, you can't really see where your shots land because of how high the recoil is. They also adjusted the temperature system to be generally more cold around Shinaris, likely because it's in Russia or the Czech Republic. So when your character is cold, they shake a crazy amount. So you need to start a fire to stay warm, or if you don't have a box of matches, you can also find a burning barrel around several towns and military camps around the map, uh, like for instance, Starry. I do definitely think at the moment, you get cold way too fast while running and not standing still, but maybe that's just me. The zombies in the game were also buffed this patch to be able to hit you from a little bit further away to add some challenge to them, because in previous patches, they were not nearly as lethal as they are now. They also added tools such as the sledgehammer and pickaxe to the game to be able to gather stone from rocks, which is the material that you'll need in later patches once base building is implemented. Uh, I'm also quite excited for base building, and hopefully it'll be very different from how Epoch does it, uh, where you can have modular base building and put up entire wall inside your backpack and things like that. Um, hopefully it'll be way different from Daisy Epoch system. Another thing is that they've also added new bolts for the crossbow, such as the explosive bolt and the tranquilizer bolt. And I'm really excited for the tranquilizer bolt because you'll be able to knock out players and then uh, hold them up maybe for their, for their can of beans or whatever. But anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed this feature showcase uh, from the Daisy mod 1.8.4 version, and peace out.